Hi guys, Chris and Santiago from MMA Allen here today with one, one championships heavyweight king, Arjun Buller. Arjun, how's it going today? I'm pumped, baby. Happy to be here. Awesome. Thanks for the time today. I really appreciate it. Uh, so how has everything been since you re reached the pinnacle of mixed martial arts? It's been life-changing. It's been amazing. It's been stressful. It's been exciting. It's been a whole bunch of things. So a whole whack of emotions. Mm -hmm. And I know you made an awesome call out of the wrestling industry. Uh, you, you know, you made an interesting uh, call out of the wrestling industry and RDR, you know, made also made an interesting call out. You know, he wants to be triple champ. He wants to get triple uh, champ status. So like, what was your response to that when he called you out? Uh, first of all, stay in your lane, young man. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not on La and Song. Let's, let's get that straight right now. You're not going to run across a cage and, and try to shoot those garbage takedowns on me and keep me down with that garbage grappling and or close that distance with that garbage striking. None of that is impressive to me. Um, and he's not about to make a name off of me. If anything, I'll go down and I'll take his belt. Gotcha, gotcha. And, you know, just looking at contenders right now, is there anybody that's on your name? Uh, sorry, is there any name that's on your list right now? Like, I, I know you want to, conquer the world of wrestling, but is there anybody in one championship that interests you right now? I just got to let these guys, you know, fight a few times and shake things out, see who's got momentum. I called out Kong Ji Wan because he's got a little bit of momentum. Uh, but aside from that, him or anybody else, they can all get it. They got to just get momentum and, and get a bit of a, get, get some wins together here to separate themselves from the rest. Mm -hmm. So, like, I want to know your uh, schedule for the rest of 2021. Like, how many appearances do you want to make in the wrestling world? And how, how many appearances do you want to make in one championship? I like to stay active. That This last year is the longest I've been inactive. Um, I like to compete. That's why I'm in the sports business. Um, so, if it's up to me, uh, active and, and, and uh, consistent. But uh, we got to sit down with the company and make sure we're able to do that as well. Mm -hmm, for sure. Then, uh, you know, I looked at, on uh, Chatri's, uh, Chatri's Instagram account and, you know, it's been blowing up lately with the one versus UFC, uh, like a hypothetical one versus UFC event. What are your thoughts on uh, that in general? Let's get it on. I have no problem with that. Um, you know, I'm sure all the other champions don't either. Uh, Francis is we're managed by the same agent and agency. There is that. Um, so. But in terms of us lining up against them, that's what it's about. There's no problem on a competition standpoint. Mm -hmm. And I know you have a lot of respect for Francis Naganu, but, you know, he has had some weaknesses in the grappling department, you know, especially in his first fight against Stipe. If that fight were ever to go down, how do you think it would play out? I don't want to speak poorly of a guy that we share an agency with. Mm -hmm. um, that's not my style. But I will speak about myself, and I, I fight to win. And I compete, and I compete to win. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in your takeover into the world of wrestling, uh, you know, obviously, one championship is very supportive of you, you know, in you uh, going and crossing over into their world. Obviously, the UFC is not a big fan of that, as, you know, they shut down GSP versus Oscar De La Hoya, uh, Misha Tate versus Cyborg in the grappling match. What are your thoughts on the UFC, you know, just not allowing a lot of their athletes to go in and pursue their dreams in that sense? I think it's a, a mafia tactic. I think that's why we need more support as fighters and, and, and uh, as athletes, which, you know, it, it, you know, but uh, I'm going to speak for one and, and one and Chaudhry, they're a great company and they're open to lots of things. That's why they do martial arts. They do submission grappling. They do, boxing they do kickboxing muay thai um and then they, they do it all so if you want to dip your toes in other aspects we have that here it's perfect mm -hmm. and i know ufc like uh, they didn't even let you wear your uh, turban they didn't let you represent your culture like in your first fight and uh you know i wanted to get your thoughts as well like you know with one championship they like to promote their uniqueness the culture you know uh, everything that goes along with a fighter and that's how it should be what like uh, can you just give me your insight on what it means for one championship to help promote you, not just from a fighter standpoint, but also from a culture standpoint? It allows us to build our brand 
Um, it allows the company to build a better brand of openness, inclusiveness. They want to connect with cultures and people, especially in Asia. Um, that's what it's about. There's so many different cultures and people there. Um, why not allow that connection and a uniqueness as a company and, and as athletes? So I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. And Father's Day was a couple of days ago. I, uh, what did you do with your family? For Father's Day? Yes. It, it, it's been a little bit in terms of time, but um, got together and, and celebrated uh, fatherhood. That's what it's about. We try to do it every day, but um, just getting together, spending conscious time together because I'm always in and out of town. So. Mm -hmm. And, you know, your dad had a huge impact on your life and your career. You know, he was a decorated, uh, decorated wrestler himself. I don't think many people know that. So, but what can you say about his impact on your life and especially on your career? Huge, huge. He set the foundation. Um, you know, that was my first uh, first experience in terms of a sport, high level sport. How to train, how to win, how to lose, uh, how to carry yourself, all of those things. And I carry that with me today. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely, definitely. Um, I want to get your thoughts on who's your favorite one championship fighter to watch besides yourself, of course. Besides myself, favorite fighter to watch. I like DJ. I think he's very well rounded. Um, and I like the Panther. That guy's my guy. I love that guy. He makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. And uh, just going back to the one versus uh, UFC conversation, what are some fights that you would like to see? Like, obviously, I think Demetrius Johnson versus Henry Cejudo, the trilogy, that would be awesome. You got Marais versus uh, Sterling or Jan. Like, what are some matchups that like really entice you that like you need to watch yeah i think those would all be exciting um i think even on the women's side we've got some you know with uh, nicolini there and uh uh we, we got some you know deep prospects and, and killers there as well um yeah it just you know we got we got we got a lot of killers i like to see marias now you know mix it up uh with guys over in the ufc that'd be fun um you know, a lot of these guys, they're, they're underrated. Obviously, Lineker's come from there. Like Bibiano. Bibiano's been around for a long, long time against the best of the best. Um, he'd be right at the top. If anything, it'd be that guy. Mm -hmm. And when can we expect to uh, see you return, whether it's in the wrestling ring or in the one championship uh, circle? Like, uh, when do you think we could see you return? Very, very soon. We're going to have an announcement in the coming weeks. Gotcha. And are you going to take like a vacate? Oh, like I know that, uh, you know, your last fight was like in late April. Uh, are you going to spend like a, some time with your family, you know, recuperate, get some vacation on? Like what's the, the – exactly what I'm doing. That's why you're catching me in the car. Uh, that's what I was just finishing doing and uh, charging the sales up before we get we wrap things up and get going again. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you're 35, is that correct? Just turned 35 two weeks ago. Gotcha. A happy, happy late birthday on that. Uh, how many, yeah. How many years do you see yourself spending in MMA? Like, uh, obviously, uh, I think, you know, the heavier weights, it's, they I am in my prime, man. I feel amazing. I'm healthy. Uh, my body's and my muscles are responding well. My reactions and actions are sharper than they've ever been. I truly feel I'm in the prime of my life. Gotcha. And can you speak to more, uh, speak some more on just training at AKA alongside Daniel Cormier? Like what impact has he had on, uh, you know, this stage of your career? Uh, he's been great. You know, obviously he's transitioning out and has transitioned out from a fighter to a full-time mentor and coach. Um, but it's been great, you know, sure, you know, all these years of sharpening my skills with those guys gives me confidence at where I'm at today. And that's where I draw confidence from when I get into competition and go to fight. Um, and I can't wait to get down there and, and into the gym and see the boys again real soon here. Mm -hmm. And DC definitely left a, a great legacy to be had, you know, inside the octagon. What kind of legacy do you want to set for yourself inside the one championship cage? Similar, similar. You know, he's, he's a two-weight world champ. Um, I, I feel that's within my grasp. He did great things for his family outside the outside the cage, the sport of the call coming in. Um, I'm looking at myself. Uh, yeah, he's really set the benchmark, especially as a heavyweight, similar physique in the same gym. 
Mm-hmm. I want to get your insight on who's the top three greatest heavyweights of all time. Number one is Cain Velasquez. Uh, number two, you know, based on wins, it's got to be Stipe and winning that rubber match. Um, and number three has got to be DC. Awesome, awesome. And, uh, you know, I think that's all the questions I had. I just want to thank you again for the time. Is there anything that you want to say to the fans out there watching? No, nope, I appreciate the love. Um, appreciate all the support from yourself, everyone on the platform. Keep tuning in. we got a big announcement coming in the coming weeks. The world's going to love it. Can't wait. Awesome. Thanks, Arjun. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Have a good night. You too.